Hi, it's me again, Old Joe from Cheap Joe's, and I'd like to show you how to use the spray bottles with colors in them. Lots of people use a little spray bottle to mist with with just water, but I love using these with the color in them and spraying uh, to make almost like an airbrush effect. So stay with me. Now, what I have here is the Holbein spray bottle. They work great. And this one is the red color. You can see it's poppy, sky blue. This is bumblebee, and I've already put my bumblebee in there. And all I do is take my tube of paint and squeeze in about a teaspoonful. Then take my water and pour about a third of the way up the bottle with it. Put my hand on it like that and shake it until it's dissolved. That takes about 30 seconds maybe, not too long. And then once it's dissolved, I take the cap, put it back in there, shake it a little more. And then I test it over to one side somewhere and see how, oh, it's coming out great. And then, if you want to, you can lay your paper, matte paper, to make a mask over the area you want to keep white. And kind of spray here and there. See, let's add a little bit of the blue. Can you see? I'm going to show it to you on the white paper there. See it coming out? A little bit of the red. Oh, isn't that pretty? And we can do that as much as we want to, for, to add extra color to it in there, a little highlight. It's a great way to add a highlight to a, a painting that's kind of gotten dull. And that's the way I use these little spray bottles. You can do the whole painting with these things, believe it or not, by simply cutting a mask out. I use newsprint or even an old newspaper. And I'll cut out shapes, lay down, then I'll spray, then I'll take that shape up and put down another shape and spray. Fun way to paint, fun way to have things to do. Great way to add foliage to a foreground or bright flowers in a little scene. Good fun way to do. The Holbein spray bottles, they're a couple of bucks each. You're going to love them. See you next time.